Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn and with this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change settler costumes. And this is useful for not only identifying which settler has which job, but it also adds a lot of diversity to your game. Now the traditional way is to simply open up the trade dialogue and trade them actual items in your inventory, but that can get tedious and time consuming, especially if you have a lot of settlers. So uh, the way you do this is you build specific settler outfits in text files and then you uh, manually place them on your settlers using bat commands. So for example, let's say I want to dress this settler up like a synth. I'll go bat synth. And now she's wearing a synth costume. You can even have unique costumes for your male settlers and female settlers. So I've got a synth costume for male settlers and female settlers. So I'm going to go bat synth male. And they'll put on their uh, their unique settler costume. Let's say you've got uh, another outfit. Like uh, I've got an outfit set aside just for armor merchants. So you can select your settler and go bat armor. And now she's wearing the outfit I have for armor. Now the way to go about this is really simple and I'm going to share all of this with you in the description of this video so that you can simply copy and paste it but I do want to go through line by line just to explain to you what each line does so you understand what you're doing. What you need to do is you need to create a bat file and it looks like this. You create a new text document and you name it anything you want and you save it in your Fallout 4 folder. This is not your data folder, it's just your Fallout 4 folder. So you'll go to uh, wherever your Steam directory is, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Fallout 4. You see I've got food.txt, guard.txt, gundocs.txt. These are all bat files for specific costumes for different settler roles. So in the, in the file that you create, the first line that you need to create is this one. Remove all items, semicolon, removes, all, and then you can add any description you want. This is just for your reference. This doesn't actually do anything to the game. Everything after the semicolon is just for your reference. What this does is it deletes everything in your settler's inventory. Now make sure that you've taken everything out of your settler's inventory that you want to keep because settlers will rifle through your belongings during your gameplay and sometimes they'll take legendary weapons or whatever. So before you run a bat file on one of your settlers, make sure that you manually remove their inventory or be sure that you know that they don't have anything that you want to keep. Now, unlike the player or companions, they have unlimited ammo. So all you have to do is give them one ammunition of whatever ammunition their gun takes. So you'll likely equip them with a gun, and just to make things easy for yourself, you can create one bat file that gives your settler one ammunition of every ammunition type. That way you can just place it in all your bat files and you don't have to do it over and over again. Now, I did find something weird. I found that the only way I could get the settler to use the ammo that I give them is if I equip the ammo and then unequip the ammo over and over and over again. So you need to go equip item space and then the reference ID for ammunition space the number of items you want to give them in this case one space semicolon and then you can write anything after that that you want in this case I'm describing the type of ammo that it is in this instance it's 0 .308 ammunition then in the very next line type unequip item space and then the reference ID that equips the ammunition, then unequips the ammunition. You can then go through all of the different ammunition types in the game to make sure that they have at least one of every ammunition so that any gun you give them in the future, they can use. But now down to the armor. This is where the armor comes in. So you find the reference ID that you want. In this case, I'm using the Minuteman Fatigues. You go equip item, the reference ID for the outfit, semicolon, and then you can describe the costume any way you want. And this works for literally anything that you can equip in the game. Weapons, you can equip them with laser muskets, hats, glasses, and even armor. In this case, I'm equipping them with just basic leather armor, right arm, left arm, leg, and so forth. This last line is used to remove all caps from their inventory. Uh, in this way, you're not cheating too bad by giving your settlers lots of caps. You could go uh, add item 1000 caps, but I don't want to cheat that way. That's not how I make caps. So I make sure that whenever I run a bat file that the settler isn't generating caps over caps over caps. So I go player dot remove item space F space zero. 
and then you change zero to the number of caps you want to remove from the settler's inventory. In this case, it's set to zero because there's no script that's generating caps for my settlers, but if you had one that was, then you would want to go 100 or 12 or however many caps that your scripts tend to generate for settlers. Then when you're done, put all of that in a .txt file, just paste it in there, make sure that it looks right, and then save it as minuteman.txt or farmer.txt or whatever else. To run it in the game, simply select your settler while the console is open and type BAT space and then the name that you named this text file. This can even work with costumes that you download from mods. So, for example, I downloaded a set of new Minuteman costumes, but I need to find the reference ID. These reference IDs are going to be different for every game's installation uh, due to the way that your plugin load order is. So in order to find out the ref ID for your specific inf installation, uh, you need to search your game for keywords. So go help, space, and then search for a keyword related to your costume. In this case, I'm gonna go Minuteman, space, Four. This gives me the, refer the reference ID for absolutely everything <clears throat> that's related to Minutemen in the game. So you see over here how it says Armo? That's short for armor. And I can see that uh, these ones that start with 82 are the Minuteman outfits that I have, cr have saved for this character. Find the reference ID for the outfits that you have installed via mods. In my case, I've got the, the, the new Minuteman hat and the new Minuteman outfit. So 820809, 820080C. Place them in your bat file, save it. You don't even have to exit the game to save it and then run the bat command. Bat Minuteman. Make sure that you have the right settler selected. I had the wrong one selected. Let's try that again. And there you go they'll automatically put on the outfit that you designate. That's how you can quickly and efficiently put your settlers in unique costumes. This can help you very quickly identify their jobs. This one, for example, is a scavenger. She's wearing a scavenger outfit with the miner hat. And you can have outfits for farmers, for gun merchants, for almost anything. Now, just a brief note on whether or not this is cheating. Technically, yes, it is cheating. You're generating these costumes. You're not giving them to the settler from your inventory. But I rationalize it um, for my game because I've got dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of pieces of armor saved up throughout my gameplay. And to drag them each to my settlements one by one would just be a huge time-consuming process that really wouldn't change the ultimate end result. So I've rationalized it so that for me it's not cheating, but if for you it feels like cheating, then you certainly don't have to use these. You can find some other way to give each of your settlers a unique costume. Huh? I hope this was interesting, and I hope it uh, taught you something that you didn't know before, and good luck outfitting your own settlers and settlements in your own unique way. Please subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos and Far Harbor content, and thank you so much for watching.